Good morning, children. Welcome to the online class of Sri Gokulam Public School, Gurwai. I am Jay Lakshmi, your maths teacher. Children, we are learning about time. I hope you have understood how to tell the time to the exact minute. Also, the use of AM and PM in time, and also to convert 24-hour clock into a 12-hour clock and a 12-hour clock. into a 24 hour clock children you can practice all this daily at home okay so today i started off from home at 8:25 am and i reached the school at 8:40 am so what is the time i have taken to travel from house to school this period or this time is called the time interval so the time interval is the amount of time that has passed between the start and end of an activity okay so let me find out how much time i took to reach the school Okay. Now look at the clock shown on the board here. I started off from home at eight twenty-five a.m. Eight twenty-five a.m. and I reached the school at eight forty a.m. Eight forty a.m. So, so let me calculate the time I have taken from house to the school. Okay. So I started from eight twenty-five. Ah, uh, so from twenty-five to thirty, it is five minutes, and from thirty to thirty-five, it is again five minutes. So five plus five will give you ten minutes, and again twenty-five to forty, it is again five minutes. So totally, the time taken for me to reach the school is fifteen minutes. So the time interval from my house to the school is fifteen minutes. Now, children, let us see one more example. Nisha started doing her homework at six thirty-five, and she completed her homework at seven fifteen p.m. Okay, so I need to find out how much time she has spent on the homework. So here I have drawn three. Clocks. So first, I need to find the time when she started it. She started her homework at six thirty-five. Then, let us calculate how much time she has spent up to seven o'clock. So, from six thirty-five, six thirty-five to seven, how many minutes are there? Yes, five, ten, fifteen. Twenty and twenty-five minutes. So, from six thirty-five to seven p.m., it is twenty-five minutes. Okay. Now, she completed her homework at seven fifteen. So, we need to calculate the time from seven o'clock to seven fifteen. So, what will be the Time from seven to seven fifteen. Yes, just fifteen minutes, isn't it? Because five, ten, and fifteen. So the time is fifteen minutes. So we can say the time spent from seven to seven fifteen is fifteen minutes. So the total time spent on the homework. Is equal to twenty-five plus fifteen minutes, which is equal to forty minutes. Okay, so Nisha spent forty minutes to do her homework. So in this way, we can calculate the time. Okay, children, did you understand it? Okay, so let us do one more example. 
So, are you ready? Yes. A movie starts at 6.45 p.m. and ends at 8.10 p.m. What is the time duration of the movie? So, children, the movie starts at 6.45 p.m. Isn't it? Okay, now let us calculate the time from 6.45 to 7 p.m. How many minutes are there, children? 5, 10 and 15 minutes. So, the time interval from 6.45 to 7 p.m. is 15 minutes. Now, let us calculate the time from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Can you tell me how much it is? Yes, it is 1 hour. Isn't it? Okay. Now, let us calculate the time interval from 8 p.m. to 8, 10 p.m. What is the time interval from 8 p.m. to 8, 10 p.m.? Yes, it is 10 minutes. Isn't it, children? So, the total duration of the movie is 15 minutes plus 1 hour plus 10 minutes, which is equal to 1 hour and 25 minutes. So, children, I hope you have understood how to calculate the time interval. Now, I had been to the kitchen to cook the midday meal at 7.30 a.m. And I took about 1 hour 15 minutes to do the cooking. So, what is the time when I finish my cooking? So, I need to know the finishing time. Isn't it children? So, let us learn how to find the finishing time. When the starting time and time period is given. Okay? So, children, I started my cooking at 7.30 a.m. And I took 1 hour 15 minutes to do the cooking. So, what is 1 hour from 7.30 a.m.? It is 8.30 a.m. Isn't it? The time from 7.30 to 8.30 is 1. Now, I need to add the 15 more minutes. I need to add 15 more minutes to get the final time. Isn't it? So, from 8.30 to 15 minutes. So, 30 minutes plus 15 minutes will give you 45 minutes. So, the time will be 8.45 a.m. So, the finishing time of my cooking is 8.45 a.m. Okay? So, children, this is the we, we calculate the finishing time. So, given the start time and the duration of an activity, we can find the finishing time of the activity. Now, let us go for the next example, children. The school starts at 7.30 a.m. and lasts for about 7 hours and 30 minutes. So, let us find out what is the finishing time of the school. Okay. So, we are starting at 7.30 a.m. And the time duration is 7 hours and 30 minutes. First, let us add up the 30 minutes first. So, when you add 30 minutes to 7.30, then the time is 8 a.m. Now, we can count 4 hours to 12. No. Isn't it children? Yes. 9, 10, 11 and 12. So, 4 hours up to 12 minutes. Okay. 4 hours. So, how much more time we need to calculate? Yes. 3 hours more. 
Isn't it children? So, the time from 12 noon and you complete 3 hours, we have the time as 3 p.m. because it is so children, now the finishing time of this pool is 3 p.m. I hope you know why p.m. is written because it is the time after noon. So the finishing time of the school is 3 p.m. So did you understand children? So in this way we can practice more problems also. Okay. So today we have learned how to calculate the time period and also to find out the finishing time when the time period is given. So practice more problems children. Now go through the YouTube video, write on the notes and also answer the questions that is given. See you again in the next class with another topic. Till then, goodbye, stay safe and stay home.